The wait is almost over. My next guest is back as DS Steve Arnott on Sunday in the new series of Line of Duty. Oh, Martin, we are all so happy that this is coming back. It's like, thank you. It's like a present. <laughs> Thanks very much. You know, it's uh, every time it comes back, it, it just seems to get bigger and bigger. So it's it's exciting and, and terrifying. And obviously with everything that, that's went on, it's it's... It's going to be a bit different this year. Can you tell us anything, anything at all? <laughs> um, <laughs> or, or else will you be in Probably one trouble? thing I will, say, yep. what I will say about it is there's a lot of big questions that get answered this year. Um, right. There's this, I think personally for all of us, well, I think I speak for a lot of us when I say Series 3 was a lot of our favourites because it was sort of the, the culmination of Series 1, 2 and 3 coming together. Yep. And with six, it feels like that again. It feels like four, five, and six have been built into this big climax. So I, there's, there's a lot of things going on that um, that people have been asking over the years that I think um, they're going to get answers. Oh, oh, excellent. We might find out lots and lots of different things. Now, look, you are all such good mates now, aren't you? And it must make it easier for filming, especially as you had to do it during this whole crazy <laughs> lockdown situation. But when you know each other really, really well and, and you enjoy working with one another, it must make it a little bit easier. Well, it also means we know how to drive each other up the wall, <laughs> that's for sure. Um, we know how to push each other's buttons, but I think when you are that close with people, um, that comes with it. No, I mean, uh, Adrian and Vicky, there they are. They're, oh. they're genuinely just two of my best friends now. It's a, it's a happy set. Again, this year it was obviously we we got about a third of a way through filming before we had to break and come back yeah. and coming back was just a such a strange environment um we were lucky to get back a lot of the jobs were but it's very you know i think as well with line of duty the crew are such a huge part of it and you know everybody being in ppe to keep everything safe and obviously jed's a former doctor so we, we, we really made sure we followed all the protocols to get us over the line um but i it was just a bit different um and I mean, there's one scene particularly where I think there's me and Adrian standing outside a police station, and then I walk around the corner. Um, so on screen, it's the same scene, but in reality, we shot it seven months apart. You wow. know, and just the the logistics of doing that, and right. after seven months of lockdown, you're maybe a wee bit different of a body shape. <laughs> I enjoyed myself like a lot of people. Um, so there was a lot of different challenges, um, yeah. but uh, yeah, we just had to take it head on. And the thing is, you do, you know, you do work very hard. You take what you do very, very seriously. But then afterwards, we've seen you doing TikTok things and having curry nights and doing all of that. And that is so cute. I think that's, a, again, that just shows there's three people that really get on well. I still think that video was a setup because you can see my dad dancing, man. I, I walked in, like, you see my hands, and I walked in, and I go, what is going on? <laughs> Because I can't handle TikTok or any of that, but <laughs> Vicky's never... Vicky's got her phone on, Vicky's films everything. <laughs> um, but we really do, but again, that was something, um, obviously, just with the protocol and, and, and the rules that were in place when we came back, curry nights and all that kind of thing um, really had to be tapered down. And mm. the social aspect of the job is huge for us. You know, I think it really contributes. Um, but also, as you say, we work really hard. Yep. We've got no divine right to come back every year and have the show be a success you know oh, it's no, up you to have. us to come back oh no 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 you have <laughs> and, no, and you must <laughs> that's... Well, well that's the thing so i think with these things you, you kind of get complacent you know right. we have to come back every year and work just as hard you know my accent has to be better and I, the thing is it all starts with jed's scripts there's a run of three episodes in this series which i think is the best he's ever wow. written um, Brilliant. they were just absolutely thrilling to read and and to perform so I, I th it's exciting to see he's still at the top of his game. So, again, as I said, as long as we, we do what he done on the page, then, then we'll, be, we'll be all right. Well, exactly. I mean, there is that pressure, isn't there, that you've got to up the game all the time because people expect so much. And then everybody's like, what's going to happen to you? Is that character going to get shot? Is he going to be in trouble? <laughs> what's his love life going to be like? That's very interesting. And do you know what as well? A lot of people, I think especially down south, when they hear you, when they hear you speak, they're like, Oh, some people still don't realise that, oh, that that's the way... Do you know what I mean? It's, you must get I that a lot. I do, but I, I kind of... I mean, obviously, everybody in Scot Scotland kind of knew I was Scottish, <laughs> yeah, but yeah, um, yeah. there's... Um, with that becomes the sort of added thing that people become sort of accent detectives because when people thought I was English, nobody bothered. They just... People believe what they hear, but now the more people, they're all listening going, in episode four, minute 27, your accent <laughs> went a bit... <laughs> 
And you're like, take a day off, pal. When you're away from the character for a long time, when I do that voice, I hear him. Right. You know, I hear Steve, so it's... Yep. It's like that, so when I do that voice and slip on the waistcoat, then, yeah, I'm good to go. <laughs> I'm so glad the waistcoats are still fitting, even after <laughs> well, comfort eating COVID. Uh, uh, that was, I, uh, the, um, uh, uh, dear Maggie Donnelly, our, our lovely um, costume designer, she had to do a wee bit of wizardry on week <laughs> one and maybe let them out a wee bit for me because uh, you fit your body shape then and when you come back in a different shape, um, it's pretty miserable. Um, for a couple of days because I came back from Vegas after lockdown and I thought, you know, everybody's got quite a busy home life um, and I thought quarantine was going to be a couple of weeks of heaven, peace and quiet, lie in, wine and dominoes and it turned into two hours on the exercise bike, soup and water, um, trying to get myself back in shape for these suits. So it was a rough couple of weeks, but I think I just about made it. Oh, it's, I can't wait. I'm so excited about it. I've rewatched it again. I just about know all your lines, you know, if anything ever happens to you. <laughs> well, you <laughs> might help me out next time. <laughs> But it is so, so good to talk to you. I know you're, you're very busy. You're filming Traces and lots of other projects coming up. You need to come back and tell me all about those. But in the meantime, thank you to you and all of the cast and the fantastic crew as well. Um, we're, just all, we're just all waiting for this. And the new series of Line of Duty, so excited to say this, begins Sunday at 9 o'clock on BBC One. Thank you so much, Martin. Thank you. And thank you. Don't forget, you can watch full episodes of Lorraine on the ITV Hub and all the best clips, compilations and playlists right here on our channel. Just subscribe now and you'll never miss an upload. Click here to watch another video similar to this one or click here to head to our channel's homepage to explore all of our exciting videos.